Green hydrogen is going to revolutionize the global energy economy. There is no doubt in my mind that this technology is going to play a critical role in reducing global carbon emissions, and the businesses that are making the right investments today are the ones that are going to prosper by 2030, which is when we expect fuel prices to become competitive with diesel and gasoline. But in the short term, not every hydrogen business is succeeding. And there's a lot of headwinds that these companies are facing with regards to cost, economies of scale, and even investor demand. And right now, there's no other company that is at this big of a scale that is struggling as much as plug power. And even though I am an investor in this company in my portfolio, I am starting to see some concerns about this company's ability to turn a profit in 23 and 24, which is exactly what I want to address in this video. Look, don't get me wrong. Every business is going to have its problems at the very beginning, particularly one that requires so much capital investment like the hydrogen infrastructure. But Plug Power's business for fuel cell forklifts has been around for the past couple of decades. And despite all that, their gross margins are still in the negative, which is something that has concerned a lot of investors and myself as well, because I expected a lot more improvement than we saw so far in 2022. So to start things off, let's understand the problem at hand and see the financial statements of Plug Power to understand exactly what I'm getting concerned about. As you can see right now, Plug Power grew revenues by around 31% in the third quarter of 2022, which is obviously very impressive given the insane macroeconomic headwinds that we're facing in 2022. But the real problem here is that right now, even though their revenue has been growing very consistently, their gross profit is still grossly in the negative, meaning their cost of goods sold are still higher than the actual revenue they generate from those products. And as you can see over the past decade, their gross margin percentage is still in the negative at around negative 24%. It's been very rare that their gross margin has been in the positive, which happened around 2018 to around 18%. And although I expected their gross margin to still be negative for the full year 2022, I expected more improvement in the third quarter than I actually saw, given the fact that oil prices have come down and obviously they're bringing more green hydrogen production plants online. And just to put this into perspective, the hydrogen fuel cell business has a lot of companies that are profitable from a gross profit perspective. Bloom Energy is one of those companies that makes these stationary fuel cell applications. And as you can see, their gross margins right now are sitting at around 17 percent and have averaged out around 20 to 30 percent over the past five years. So it is possible to sell profitably in the hydrogen space. And that is exactly why I'm one of the big investors in Bloom Energy. But when it comes to plug power, at least one of the big concerns for them has been the fact that they haven't been able to reach that gross profit profitability, even though they've been in business for almost two decades. Either this is a sign that their current technology is either too expensive to sell or the demand for their products from a customer acquisition standpoint is just too low, which means either competition is going to eat their market share, which means their gross margins are not going to improve, or they need to make more investments in the right areas and use the big cash pile they have more effectively than they are right now. Now, for those that don't know, Plug's main business right now is selling fuel cell modules for forklifts. They have five main pedestal customers that include Home Depot, Stellantis, Amazon, and Walmart, which means they have a lot of significant revenue concentration. But the reason why their gross profit is now negative is because they actually sell fuel to those customers as well themselves through third party offtakes. And the problem that that brings up is that if you're buying hydrogen from other companies and selling it to your own customers to whom you've already sold a product to, you're going to have to sell that fuel at a much cheaper price than you bought it for. And right now, because of the insane volatility we're seeing in natural gas prices, which is what is used to make most of the hydrogen that plug power is buying, their gross margins are suffering significantly. And as a result, it's difficult to see their material handling business showing any signs of profitability in the next few years. 
Now, the good thing is that that is not plugs only business right now. They're also getting into the business of making electrolyzers and selling green hydrogen fuel to customers that want to reduce their emissions. But the problem is obviously by 2025, at least, which is when we expect costs of these electrolyzers to come down significantly, their business is still not at scale to provide them any form of cash flow for the next few years, which is obviously what Wall Street really cares about today. As a matter of fact, in the Q4 of 2021, their electrolyzer sales accounted for less than 6% of their total revenue, which obviously means the rest of their revenue is still coming from either service revenue, fuel revenue, or obviously fuel cell module sales, which include the very poor gross margins. And this is really where the problem arises from. You have three main margins you want to focus on service, fuel, and product margin. And right now, all three of these are negative with their product margin depending significantly on their fuel margin, because guess what? They're both mixed into the same package. And although it's good that they expect their service margin to become break even by the end of 2022, their fuel margins and product margins are really what matter. And that's where their green hydrogen plants can really help in if they're scaled up at the right time in the right place. And this is, to be honest, the main way that most businesses in this industry are going to become profitable. It's when the cost of the fuel comes down, which means demand is going to go up and gross margins can actually expand. And right now, the main way to do that is by investing in clean hydrogen production plants aggressively while making sure you're managing the demand side as well. And that is really the main light at the end of the tunnel that I see with Plug in the short term. Plug is indeed right now building their own electrolyzers and putting them directly into their own production plants, which means there's a lot of high capital expenditure and very little revenue gain from each dollar they invest, which means the only way that their margins are going to improve for fuel, service and product is by making sure they're using their own green hydrogen and producing it at a more cost effective rate than getting it from natural gas. And as a result, they should get break even molecule costs for hydrogen by the end of 2022. And particularly with the Inflation Reduction Act and the PTC, they should exit break even by the end of 2023 with gross margins around 30% in 2024. And although this is a very difficult investment to do in the short term, and it will take some time for this to play out, this is really the only way that I expect my conviction and plug to improve. Because right now, their conventional fuel cell module business is simply not profitable enough to really impress Wall Street, and their gross margins have still struggled, even though the overall industry is still improving over the past few quarters. And although Plug is a very big business in the traditional fuel cell and material handling area, the main attraction for me as an investment right now has been their balance sheet, which although has been deteriorating in 2022, still sits quite strong with cash over on $3.5 billion and total debt that's sitting around only $1.6 billion. But with the way that their operating cash flow has been staying relatively consistent around negative $100 million and their investing also being extremely aggressive, I expect this cash position to deteriorate faster over the next few years, which means they need to make sure they're getting their green hydrogen fuel to customers as fast as possible in 2023 and hence improving their margins. It is certainly great that Plug is establishing more demand for their fuel by investing in partnerships and joint ventures like with Nikola and Airbus to create demand for that fuel and bring the cost down. But in the short term, we need to pay attention to their gross margin really effectively because right now they are the industry laggard in that specific area. And obviously, because I want the overall hydrogen fuel cell industry to succeed, it's important that Plug Power does make it out and does succeed itself so that other companies can also build upon their investments and make sure the hydrogen economy goes on to the right foot. But as usual, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.